So I got one interesting assumption on Instagram. I don't know what that means. So wait, you may as well I, be speaking like German. <laughs> I put an Instagram story up and I said, send your assumptions of me and you're to reply to the story with your assumptions of me. Oh, right, yeah. And I got an interesting one. Okay, what is it? I assume you can cook a Sunday roast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> I assumed that. Yeah. You know that the Instagram feature is not anonymous, right? Yeah, no, I... I knew that, that's why I sent it to you. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. This so I knew this, it was you. This has backfired a bit, hasn't it? No, it hasn't. <laughs> it has. Because I knew it wasn't anonymous. No, I know, but I... like. I want just... you to learn how to cook a Sunday roast. <laughs> there, I said it to your face. And I've said it to your face many times. <laughs> what did you learn to cook a Sunday roast? You did say you'd do it. In fact, you promised that you would. Yeah, well, you say a lot of things to get the ring on your finger, don't you? <laughs> Not living up to gender stereotypes there, <laughs> Hi, my name is Karen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm an Irish YouTuber living in Ireland. If you do know me, thanks for coming back. Someone commented and was like, you always sound like you're surprised people are coming back. <laughs> That's the joke slash truth. <laughs> so I asked on my social media accounts for assumptions about me that you were actually much more introverted than you are as your Clizair persona or more so Clizair is a persona. So this is fair. I think the way that I portray myself on the internet now is much more authentic than maybe at the start when I was making like sketch videos and playing characters. I think my move into vlogging has put way more of my real self on the internet. But at the same time, I don't put in 25 minutes in the morning. <laughs> Do you know? And I could, but I don't. And when you're talking about Try, me and Try channel is just hopped up on Red Bull. I have a Red Bull before I go in, so I'm, I can be nice and hyped for the shoot. Because it's a competition and I have to win it. You will reject a pint of Guinness if not properly poured or from a beer line that's too long. I don't drink Guinness. There you go now. As warm and personable as you clearly are, you are still quite shy or nervous about making and publishing videos sometimes. Definitely. I think there's always a little bit of nerves. It's like, people, maybe people won't like it. Maybe the algorithm won't like it. Maybe you'll be fucked forever. <laughs> you would gladly make a video with any of the triers and Dermot actually is your favorite, true? You mentioned in a video once that Jack and ginger ale might be your new drink when you were too mad to drink wine. This leads me to assume that there is an epic story about being wine drunk and absolutely furious. There are unfortunately several stories about me uh, being wine drunk and being absolutely furious. I had to stop drinking wine there for a bit. If you were out drinking with the Tri folks and someone messed with one of your friends, you'd be the first to throw a punch. I wouldn't be the first to throw a punch, but I'd definitely be the first to like get in between two people and like do the square up thing. Perpetually cold at home, it looks like the heating is never on in your house. So I've addressed this in like several videos, but I'm gonna address it again. We live in a house that has an E energy rating, which means the heat flies out the walls when the heat is on. So yeah, we're not tight. We do put the fucking heating on. This drives me nuts. We put the heating on all the time. That you're messier than Alex and he grumbles when he cleans up after you. I am, but he doesn't grumble to be fair to him. You've been affected by lockdown more than you thought and admit, true. I assume you're constantly climbing on things because you can't reach the top shelf and won't ask a nearby tall person. Not in the house because Alex has bought me these things that we like to call mega steps. They are all over the house. There's two upstairs and one downstairs. So I just pull them out anytime I need to get something high up. I think he got fed up being asked to get stuff. You don't mince words when people ask you for your opinion on anything. Uh, I guess it depends on what you define as mincing words. There's a TV show <laughs> coming out soon that I'm on that you might see me mince a few words. Last but not least, Instagram. You'd rather see the movie before reading the book. That feels like an insult. <laughs> I don't know why that feels like an insult, but it does. Look, it's gonna be better if you read the book first, in my opinion, but I wouldn't go out of my way to read a book just so I can then watch the series on it. Do you know what I mean? So you shave your gash. My favorite thing about the Instagram questions feature is that it's not anonymous and everyone thinks it's anonymous. You look really tiny, got a lot of questions about my height, yep, five foot nothing. You are a badass queen that can handle anything and everything thrown at you except jury and things, yeah. I don't have the reputation of hating jury as much as Justine, but I fucking hate jury. If I'd been put through it as much as Justine, I would hate it just as much. You are very liberal but still Catholic. This is an interesting one that had me thinking. I do not identify as Catholic. Do not consider myself religious. I would like to say that I'm agnostic, but I, if I was to really investigate, I think I'm actually atheist. 
I'm not gonna get into it because it's a divisive topic, but I am not Catholic whatsoever. If I went over the entrance to a church, I'd burst into flames. That's a joke. I do go to people's weddings. When I die, I'll probably have to have a Catholic funeral because there just is no other option here. But I didn't get married in the Catholic Church. I didn't promise to bring up my kids in the Catholic faith. I won't be baptizing my kids. You love a grand stretch in the evening. I love a grand stretch in the evening. You make speaking Irish look easy, but it takes a lot of prep and a few takes to get the videos right. This is true when I'm doing an Irish language video in particular, as I mentioned, like it's very nerve wracking because it's like, am I pronouncing it correctly? Have I spelled it correctly in the subtitles? Is somebody going to jump on and be like, that's not the right one? Like I remember with my coronavirus lockdown terms recently, someone was like, eh, sorry, there's no V in Irish because I'd written coronavirus. I was like, well, I got that term from the fucking government. So <laughs> piss off. You still don't rinse the dishes in the dishwasher. Stop fucking reading me like this, Jesus. You're a prude. Again, Instagram feature is not fucking anonymous. It's a nice photography business you got there. That on a surface level you're all cracked, but you're actually a huge softie with a big heart underneath. Yeah, you can hurt my feelings if you want to. That you didn't take out that box after work. Oh, <laughs> stop fucking reading me, Jesus. You're like every Irish girl in love pennies. Yes, and I think it's super unfair that pennies has been designated as non-essential in these times because there's so much that I need. I need new knickers and new socks. And I also just need to buy stuff because I'm bored. Thanks, pennies finest. Pennies. I assume you're bad at paying bills on time. Ouch. A new one came in. Irish girls are the crack in bed. That's a nice girlfriend you got there in your profile picture that you're staring into the eyes of. Would be a shame if someone disrespected her by sending messages like that. Wild in the sack and wild in bed. So just sent it twice just to make sure. And the second one had loads of those eh, emojis. Again, Instagram questions feature is not anonymous, Keith. You came to Michigan one time because you had a white cap shirt on in one of the try videos. No. Uh, somebody sent me that. I mentioned in a video a couple of years ago that I love like tat from like tourist tat and actually people started sending me loads of stuff from all over America and Canada. So I have loads of stuff that from places I've never been. And we continue. There's one last one I want to address before we finish up and it was you are sick of lockdown. And the reason that I want to talk about this one is because this one actually made me cry. So I read this one when we were on our way to a running session. Oh here comes trouble. And then we started doing the sprinting bit. And Alex looks over me and he's like, right, you ready to go again? And then he's like, why are you crying? <laughs> he thought I was crying because I didn't do a quake enough or something. And I was like, no, I'm just fucking sick of lockdown. And I just want to play sport again. And I just started bawling crying. I put up a video recently enough where I was crying about how fed up I was in lockdown. And I do think that I'm managing it pretty well overall, but I don't want to pretend that I don't have the bad days. I said in the video that I do understand that other people probably have a much worse situation, like I do have a good situation, there's nobody I'd rather be in lockdown with, etc, etc. At the same time, I'm allowed to have a day where it sort of all feels never-ending and it gets on top of me and I have a cry about it. You know? Okay, so thank you for sending in all your assumptions. To the people who assumed things like, I bet you're wild in bed, or I bet you shave your gash. I can see your profiles, and your girlfriends, and your wives, and your fucking college age daughters, so wise the fuck up. <laughs> if you like my content, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon. It's how I keep this show going. It's how I keep the lights on. You can also unlock exclusive extra content uh, if you go for the exclusive content club tier. Check out my podcast, Storytime with Clizzer where I invite people on to tell their best stories. Link is down in the description. And if you liked this video, you might like this video. Or this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Sloan, Sloan.